Yeah, this is a really hard challenge. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm doing 100 and 300. What does 100 and 300 mean? I'm making 100 videos in 300 days. So why am I, why am I doing this? If you're smart enough, if you're smart enough, grab it some more, no? If you do the math, that gives me around three days per video. So that's if you set a countdown to the end of the year, there's exactly 300 days left or more or less one day plus one plus minus one day i'm giving myself leeway of one day anyway why why am i making 100 videos in 300 days one of them is to force myself to improve right i want to improve more on filming myself as a filmmaker i can shoot other people fairly well but i can never shoot myself one of the goals of doing this 100 videos is to improve at least one thing in every video. I guess in this video, one of the things that I really want to improve on is trying not to say the uh, mm, uh, mm. Yeah, that's one of the things. So for each of the videos, I'm going to try and improve at least one thing so that by the end of the 100 videos, I would have improved at least 100 things, right? Um, oh shit, I just said it. <laughs> yeah, it's harder than it looks, guys. Another goal for me is to keep a consistent pace for when I release videos. So if you were following me for the past year, you'd notice that my videos were very inconsistent. I would have a video one, once every month or once every three months. It's like, where's the consistency DC? You need to be making more content if you really want the YouTube channel to grow, if you want to be a content creator, if you want to be somebody that people know because you won't gain a following if you don't pump out content. There's the the correlation is is there. So you need to be making more content, making more stuff, even if it's bad, even if it's good, especially if it's good, right? Release content, learn from mistakes, be like Tony Stark, who learns from his mistakes. <laughs> That's basically the goal. Just keep making videos, keep learning from your mistakes over the year over the rest of the year for 100 videos there's going to be days where i shoot multiple videos there's going to be days where i don't shoot at all or don't do anything i'm gonna have a backlog and then i'm gonna quit this whole challenge now i'm just kidding <laughs> but the idea is to keep myself accountable for creating more videos until the end of the year there's gonna be days there's gonna be intervals of there will be no videos and then I'd, I'd have to release a video like once a day just to catch up to where I am. That's gonna happen. I already expect that to happen, but I tried, I'll try to avoid it as much as I can. Having school, having a part-time job, having freelance work as well, there's gonna be days where I can't do any work. So I'd have to either stock up in advance or if it's an emergency or if something unforeseen happened. There's gonna be days where there's no videos and then I'm just gonna be releasing video, 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 video so that I can keep up. <laughs> Cause I need to stay on top of it. If I don't, it's gonna, the videos that I write is gonna back up and it's just, it's just the whole thing. It's, you know what happens. How, how, how am I gonna do this, right? How am I gonna do this? I said it earlier, it's gonna be shoot, edit, post. The first day is gonna be me shooting the videos. The second day is gonna be me editing the videos. And the third day is me posting. The posting part is the easy day. That's the rest day. What exactly are going to be the videos? What exactly am I going to be shooting? What exactly are... What exactly is the content that's going to be coming out? All right, so this video will, will mark the first video of 100. So that's one out of 100. One step at a time. Let's go. But the videos are going to be simple. They're going to be, they're going to be fast. And they're going to be informative for the most part. Because, for example, if I want to talk about some new gear, I can't go and buy that gear because I'm a broke-ass university student. So I'm just going to talk about the specs. What what can it do for you as a filmmaker or for you as a gamer? Like if there's any game-breaking stuff or if there's going to be any uh, insane equipment that might make a huge difference in how people make content or how people play video games. Th that's, the, that's the general idea behind some of the videos like i have a few stuff that's more personal more existential like how i decide on getting things how the, the thought process i know it's a lot but i feel like it's doable it's very doable i'm i'm also trying to force myself to shoot more outdoors so the videos are going to be seeing me either in the studio or in my in my backyard though i don't have a backyard 
I'm in the freaking Philippines. There's no backyard here. In UP mostly, because there's a lot of cool spots in UP where I can just set up a tripod, start filming, and just talk, just talk. So yeah, that's, that's basically it. I almost said it. I almost said it. Um, ah! <laughs> it's such a hard habit to stop. Honestly, it's such a hard, it's such a hard habit to stop. So that's that's 100 and 300. So if you if you want to see this journey, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the not notification bell. If you want to watch some of my other videos, like that keyboard that I built, um, that's my YouTube channel. You can you can find it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. It's gonna be one hell of a journey. And here's to 100. Palam. <laughs>